Hey, so if you happen to enjoy what you see here, then please make sure that you subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Yep, that's me in the middle of the most intense solar raid about to take that rocket straight to the face. But how did we end up here? Well, for that, there is some backstory I have to catch you up on. Let me tell you the story of the three clans. It was winter and Christmas was right around the corner. The server had just wiped and 200 people were making their way onto the server. The earlier wipes had been all about these three clans. One by lawn site, one by military tunnels and one by large oil rig. Each wipe was about what clan would be the one to come out on top. These were decided by online raids, a big event where one clan has to risk all of their rockets and the other clan has to risk everything. It was a friendly competition and each wipe would have a different winner. But then here come this wipe. The three clans joined the server like they had done all those other wipes earlier. Only this time something had changed. Clans from other servers had heard about the competition between these three clans and they wanted in. And well, two days into the wipe and all three of the original clans had been raided. This was devastating for them. And so they started talking to each other. And for the next wipe, they had devised a plan. All three of them joined forces to get rid of all the other clans. And well, seven days into this wipe and they had raided all the other clans. The server was at peace again, but instead of going back to fighting each other, the power went to their heads and they started taking out anyone who would dare to oppose them. Didn't matter who you were, a trio, a duo or a solo. And at the end of this wipe, their base was the only one standing. Now the next wipe, all the other groups had a choice to make. They could ally with the three clans and help them, or their fate would be the same as the wipe before. Now, some groups took the deal and decided to ally with the three clans. Others fought for their honor, but in the end, they all lost. And from that wipe on, more and more people were forced to ally with the three clans, or they would be dealt with immediately. And time passed by and every now and then a group came along who tried to take them down, but none succeeded. Big thank you to Apex Gaming for helping me bring you this video. If you want to help support my channel and you're also looking for a new gaming PC, then go down into the link in my description and get yourself an IOK gaming PC. Use code IOK at checkout for 5% off your purchase. And again, thank you to Apex Gaming for continuing to support my channel. Now then, here is where I come into that story. All alone, no idea what I was walking into. Wait. Oh. I placed down my base in the middle of the map and immediately started snowballing.
wait for daytime. Can't be fighting in fucking darkness. I still don't have all the BP, so this scrap is big. We can research a lot with that. My god! <laughs> the reason I'd built in the middle of the map was because it was a very small map. And so I would be able to hear every single raid on the entire map. And it didn't take very long until I started hearing explosions close by. I'm so bad! Okay, well, I'm glad I went back. Okay. <laughs> I was just gonna go home. I'm so happy I checked this body. What the? We're running back to the base, probably. Where do they live? They could be a good raid target. I mean, that base was probably loaded from the inventory I got alone, so. They're probably loaded as well. I got basically everything from the raid. What the? Oh, they're not happy. <laughs> and I got a garage door, a tier 3, and explosive ammo. That's so good. Okay, so now I have all three workbenches and I haven't crafted a single one. <laughs> this could be a good raid, honestly. Has a code lock on it, and it's quite big, so. Might be a decent raid. And after getting my hands on all this loot, I spent the next hours just grinding. What the... Then I did my first raid of the wipe. I chose this base because it was the closest base to mine.
Oh. Nice. Like, this is so good. This is exactly what I needed. Like, I don't have. I have barely any components, so this is super good. A few more guns. Gear sets for days. But yeah, I'm gonna move everything from this. Red cards. Yes! Now we can farm oil rig. I transferred all of the loot from this base back to mine, and then I finished up most of my base. I was just about to go to bed, and then I started hearing Bradley getting taken. So one second Bradley. And I figured that my base was secure enough at this point, and so I decided to go for it. Fuck, I should have taken a silencer. I mean... I mean, now I have Adelar, so... Should be quite easy to counter. Are you? <sighs> I have to be. S you have to be kidding me, bro. I played that so perfectly. <laughs> oh my god! So after losing this fight, I decided to call it quits, and I logged off. But little did I know, I had just started the clock. The next day, it was time to start challenging the other groups on the server. And so I woke up really early, and the first thing I did was I headed over to train yard to get a red card. But as I was heading home, I started hearing a raid on the other side of train yard. I'm running to that, fuck this loot. I don't really care for it. Look that. The fucking <laughs> armored thing. Oh my god!
Oh my god. Holy fucking loaded. Oh. <laughs> As I was running around the map farming, I noticed a farm base at the edge of the map in a swamp. And so I crafted up some explosive ammo and headed over to raid it. And for some reason this thing, this farm base, was what would change my wipe forever. Please be loaded. Oh my f holy fucking oh. Well, thank you. Okay. What the fuck? I used the berries to craft wood teas and just did as much farming with that as I could. Yeah, I think... I think this will do. I think we're okay for now. Using some of the wood from this, I put down a compound around my base. But before I could completely secure the compound, some people that had been looking for me since yesterday ran by my base. How? Two? With how is it? This four of them? Now obviously I had no idea who these guys were. I thought they were just running by my base and heard me inside. So I had no idea they were actually looking for me. So I just continued on with my day, not realizing that my time on the server was about to end. Okay, let's go on a big recycle run, recycling everything that we like don't really need. 
Oh my god, we have more components than I actually thought. <laughs> Holy. What the fuck? It fuses? What? Okay, let's put some stuff away. We're not gonna recycle all of this. Not to recycle pipes or springs. Like that. Let's keep like six of those. Let's keep those, keep those. Keep like six of those. Uh, let's keep eighteen of those. Let's keep that. Rest will just rest will recycle. I don't think I'm gonna need rifle bodies. Like I have eight case. Like uh, if I lose all of these <laughs> guns, like I'm just bad at the game. So I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna craft the AK so I'll, like, let's be real. 50 high call, uh, no, fuck that. This is so good. You can basically research everything you will need. Almost at least. We have explosives. Actually, I'm gonna go and settle all of this fertilizer and get more scrap from that. And I can set up a uh, turret before I. Buy a minicopter, because I want to buy a minicopter now, but it's 100% getting stolen if I don't have turrets, so I'm gonna go sell this first. I ran over to the bandit camp to sell all the fertilizer for scrap. Now this much fertilizer will take you a long time. And so I took off my headset and started looking through my phone. And so I didn't hear the explosions coming from my base. After an hour of selling fertilizer, I put my headset back on, and I heard an explosion coming from my base. And so I respawned in a sleeping bag next to my base. What the? You have to be joking me, I've been away for like... An hour? They raided both my TCs? Are you kidding me? Why? Yeah, that was the question really going through my mind. Why would someone want to get rid of me this bad? Oh wow, they used so much. They used so much. Now this got me really confused. I couldn't wrap my head around just what I had done to deserve this. Over 40 rockets was used. That is over 4,000 metal frags, 80 metal pipes, 56,000 sulfur, and 900 low grade. And for someone to use that much on you, usually you have to really piss them off. But for the first time, I had no idea what I had done and to who I had done it. And so I decided to ask in chat to see if anyone would take credit. And some people did. Ben and 123. They were happy to take credit for this raid. But I still had no idea why they would raid me. 
and so I looked back in my footage to see when I had run into them before. And I only fought them twice. Of course once at my base earlier. But then also at the fight by Launchite. Yes, these guys used 40 rockets raiding and griefing my base just because I killed them once after taking Bradley. But that's just how these guys played. They were the big dogs of the server. And the server had gotten to the point where no one would dare to cross them. Because they knew that killing them meant losing your base. And so at this point they were allied with half the server. Which meant that the reason they need to use 40 rockets on you can be as small as just losing one fight. Now I still had no idea where they lived. But I figured it would be pretty easy since it's probably the biggest base on the server. There was still a lot of loot left inside my base and so I moved everything over to the base I had raided last night. If they think I'm honestly gonna give up, I'm, I'm finding out where these people live. After moving all the loot to my other base, I went back to bandit camp and picked up all the stuff that I had left there. I mean, I guess we still have this kit, but this is like... <laughs> Slow fucking nothing. The first thing I did before anything was I went around the map looking for their base. I first figured they must have lived close to launch, but I couldn't find any bases that looked like something they would live in. And so I kept looking in the direction they ran in after taking Bradley, but I just couldn't find it. And after 30 minutes of searching for their base, I gave up, and instead I started to rebuild. And they had left a broken tier 3 workbench, which would make this much easier. Okay, things are starting to look up. Now we just have to wait for sulfur and metal to smelt, and we can move in. So while I wait for that, time to regain some guns. Now I wish I could tell you that this was an easy start, but I just couldn't catch a break. What? No way.
I mean, I'm just not supposed to have a good day in Rust. Like, I'm just not supposed to have a good day. After taking a break and cooling down, the sulfur had finally smelted and I could ungrief my base to a point where it was actually livable. So I moved all the loot back to the original base. To make the comeback easier I bought a minicopter. It was time to fill up the base with loot again. Oh my god I didn't record. Whatever, I got this. Super good. I decided to take the minicopter to do large oil rig, when I realized why I couldn't find the base of the people who had raided me. Wait, what? I had been looking on the island, and well, they weren't living on it. This just had to be them. And I would lie if I said that this didn't scare me a little bit. At this point I also understood why these guys felt like they ruled the server. With a base like that, how couldn't you? I had a lot of work in front of me if I ever wanted to get even with these guys. As I was waiting for the crate to open, Heli came out and so I decided to leave with what I had and take down Heli instead. Oh my god. Two C4 rocket crates? Okay. Well, our wipe just got saved. Yes. Wait, what? Huh? Isn't this supposed to be a four time? As I was going back to do oil rig, cargo ship came out, and so I decided to take that instead.
Okay, let's fix let's fix our base now. The only thing I have to get rid of to ungreek myself is this metal. <laughs> I hate that they made it metal. It would have been so cheap otherwise. Oh whatever. It had now been 7 hours since I had been raided, and I was back at roughly the same spot as I was before. So satisfied, I logged off. I had some work to do the next day. Next morning, the first thing I did was I checked out Ben's base. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the people that raided me live in that thing, which kinda sucks. Because I said that I was gonna raid them. And I am. It's just gonna be very, very, very odd. <sighs> I added some defenses to the base so raiding me would be even harder. Now my base was still not as strong as I wanted it to be. And so until it was I would try my hardest not to fight with Ben and his group. A base next to mine started getting raided. Oh, they're raiding. I think that was a rocket launcher at least. On his back. Can you me this more? <laughs> what? It's a triple rocket launcher or double? What the?
Fuck. Oh my god, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm just gonna shoot in here. I'm not gonna push anymore. Fuck that. Where you just run away? I'm so fucking good.
It was a long fight, but at the end I managed to get out of there with most of the loot, including a bunch of rockets and more guns than I'll ever need. Then Heli came out and I took it down. Getting some more boom, I recycled and then I did a small raid. Oh. I did cargo ship again. And that was trash. <laughs> I also set up a shop where I sold items for sulfur. This is a great way to get a lot of sulfur without actually farming. I took Kelly again. Yes. And then I logged off. It had been a good day where I had gotten a lot of loot. But all that work was about to be put on the line because I logged in the next morning to rockets being launched at my base.
I fucking fat fingered. I'd managed to secure the base, now I just had to clear the compound. <laughs> One, two, three! One, two, three, no! One After a bit of fighting, I managed to seal the compound. Now, I wasn't sure who it was that raided me. <laughs> Look at this raid base. <laughs> what kind of raid base is this? But it turned out to be one of the many allies of Ben. I did some farming and then I fixed up the base. Then it was back to the grind. Wait, it went down in my base? <laughs> oh! Bro, my crates this wipe have been fucking nuts! Yes, these crates are nuts. Oh, oh more rockets. Oh, we've, we've been getting at least one rocket C4 crate in every single hello we've taken. 
Like, that's nuts. I'm gonna move all my C4 and rockets into one box, and I'm gonna see how much I actually have. Oh, damn. We're really starting to get somewhere. I mean, we're still not even close, but I haven't crafted any of these rockets or C4s, so... Okay, let's do a... A tiny run to our post. <laughs> get some important stuff. Pretty okay. Pretty okay run. <laughs> Job's been doing kinda good. At this point I felt like my base was strong enough to start messing with Ben and those guys. And so when one of their allies started getting raided I decided to go for it. Is it getting raided? Is it the fucking... No way, right? No, it's not. It's probably these guys. There's no way these guys are getting raided. What the fuck is happening? I didn't think they could come out that way.
pretty good haul. After this, it was just for me to keep going out and collect more explosives. Way too easy. I started hearing explosions again coming from the direction of Ben's base. And so hoping to get more explosives I went for it. Come Freddy, come, come, come. Loot what you want. Getting banned anyways, stupid hacker. I had a bag close by, and so I respawned and ran back. Ah, uh, it's R21. Red, I, I believe he lives there. He killed me with an M9 from that, from that base. So I'm pretty sure he lives there. We're gonna go raid one, two, three, man, Freddy. Yes, you heard right, and the timing of that couldn't be any better. Kay. Ben and his group were at raiding with one of their allies, and so they were talking in game, which let me know that they were about to come and raid me again. And so I kicked it up, and then it was just for me to wait. This was it. If I lose here, I would lose everything I had worked so hard to get. And I thought I was ready, but I had missed something very important for a raid defense. Which would make this raid defense so much harder. I had no wood in the base. 
which meant I would not be able to seal. Here we go. The fuck? They were starting to lose the raid, and so minicopters came with more people and more boom. What the f- there's so many still! Mud on the floor. 
There's still more! How many are there? Every fucking player on the server raiding me? What is going on? Like, it just never ends. Just keep coming, I killed like fucking 10 of them. Here, here, Freddy, here, here. Move back, move back, move back, wait, I can, I can rock No, 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 it's okay.
Come, come, look. Watch out, watch out. Roof, 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 roof. I don't, have, I don't have any fucking wood anywhere. That's where I'm losing. I don't have any fucking wood to seal with. Oh. I feel like this is GG now. Bro, there's just too many of them. Like, I, I kill like 10 of them and then there's still like 5 more. Like, I just. I don't know what to do. There's too many right now. I need to kill all of them inside right now, and it's gonna be so hard. Man, 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 take, 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 take this, take this, take this, take this, man. Come, 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 come. Man, uh, take sofa, sofa, sofa. Take for me. You see, sofa, sofa, but below you. Wait, 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 I found it. Uh... I'm gonna kill myself. You're gonna get banned, baby. You're you're so bad. You're getting banned. I'm getting fucking the admin on. You stupid. I'm gonna go on Discord and I'm call I'm gonna call the admin. You fucking. Fucking. Did I win? Did I actually win? Is that it? Getting offline. Did I actually fu I fucking won? Oh my god. Yes, I had done it. With everything on the line and with them at the core of my base. I managed to defend the base and all the loot inside was safe. Oh, not good. We need look, we can fly minion, but we need low grade, we need low grade. Nice subscription to them hex bro. They're so salty, I mean I would be too. But GG to them, I mean they gave me online raid, not that all people do that. Even though they they call me cheater. And well after this, I spent the rest of the day just preparing. I was hoping that I could do the raid later today. Oh my god, these fucking crates! Oh... 
My god. Hey, another C4 rocket crate. Yeah, I think this will do. That is 118 rockets and 32 C4s. And one C4 is the same as two rockets. So 182 rockets was what I was gonna hit their base with. Now we had the boom for the raid. But that's just like 10% of what you'll need to try and do a raid like this. The rest of the percent goes into the plan, timing and skill. Now for the plan. These guys always have people online. And so, how do you online raid a base like this? Most people will say that's impossible, but it's actually not. It's all about when you start the raid, and who in the clan is online. Almost all clans have a base bitch. This guy sucks at PvP and so all he gets to do is take care of the base and farm. And from watching the clan in chat, I believe that this guy was the base bitch. And so if I could start the raid when he was the only one in the group online, it would give me an upper hand going up against their least skilled player. So I started getting ready. I first headed over to set up my raid base. You also need a lot of stuff for a raid of this magnitude. So I made trip of the trip just filling up this base with weapons and resources. Then it was time to move the rockets. And with this many rockets, that was going to be two runs. As I was running in to depot the rockets, I started hearing footsteps and garage doors opening inside of the base. I still had 3 rows of rockets back at my base, but if I wanna get them I have to leave all these rockets in a 2 rocket raid. And so at this moment, I made a choice. And I still don't know if it was the right one. You can tell me what you think in the comments. But I decided to do the raid without these rockets, and just hope that this would be enough. Yep, this is gonna be fucked. I need to get all I, I need to get all the rockets. Right now before he gets on the roof. I need to just have all the rockets on me. I'm gonna stand in this I'm gonna stand in the shine mode. I know this is fucked. I know I'm fucked. I don't care. The thing is, there's so many th places he can he can come from. Uh, 
probably think if I can beat down this really, I'm not a fucking solo. <laughs> There's so many things that can go wrong right now. I don't even have all the rockets. Yep, I'm just gonna try and waste all my rockets. Bro, this is gonna be so expensive. Armor takes so long to get through. I'm just waiting for that to open and I get rocketed. I'm so dumb for not bringing all the rockets. I'm I'm mad at myself now. That's like two rows of rockets, more than that. Nah, I'm just fucking rocketing. Oh, I just got the compass. I think I'm starting to make do some damage here. I'm gonna push in after this. This is done. He just rocketed himself. Whew. Oh.
keep it outside. Two outside. Oh my god! I don't care. How the fuck is this not b blowing? He's <laughs> the saying I'm hacking. There we go. Okay, good. Fucking blow! You're such a loser, bro. Why play with hacks? I'm online raiding. How am I, how am I a loser? Because you're playing with hacks, bro. Oh my god, but they don't have fucking... They haven't crafted anything. Boy, I'm a shirkat. 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 Oh, I could have died there so easily. He's talking about despawning. Ah! Bro, I don't know what to do. You need like a grenade launcher. Fuck! I had run out of explosives.
but if I could respawn at base, grab the rockets and some scrap for a minicopter, I could hopefully get back before they manage to seal the base. Come on. Oh! Fuck! No, I couldn't see. He went under. I was looking at the door. I'm gonna spawn tower, fuck it. Spawn tower. Okay, let's fucking go. <laughs> Oh, that's a... Ah, oh, they fucking insane the rocket. That's fine. I'm missing a PvP rocket now. Wait, how did one turn off? What? Bro, did. I mean, I'm fucked as soon as as soon as they'll go out. No! If there were ever was a time, if the Rust gods believe, please. No. no. It looked like this was over and that I had lost. It was a really fun fight and it actually looked like I had it at one point. But because I didn't have these three rows of rockets, I didn't have enough to foundation wipe them. But had I really lost? I grabbed a kit and ran back to see if I could get back inside. No! They're moving loot somewhere. Bro, that was the play. They were quitting and transferring all the loot to their allies. I ran back again. Maybe I could still get some loot from them. What the? Man, can you stop? What do you mean, can you stop? Fuck off. I 
I'm just gonna put the knife on this. Oh, rockets. You're really that dumb that you're going for the pickup. And after this, they quit the server. It turned out even though I had technically lost, I managed to do enough damage to the base so that they couldn't rebuild. And so here is where this video ends. And honestly, I couldn't be happier with the ending. Even though it wasn't exactly how I hoped it would go, I had done what I set out to do. I had gotten them off the server. And in doing so, I also did something no other solo player has done on YouTube. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my PC at Apex Gaming. Don't forget to subscribe, join my Discord server and follow me over on Twitter. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.